Welcome to Total Bounty WordPress video tutorials. Total Bounty is a digital marketplace for buying and selling HTML templates, WordPress themes and plugins, and PSD files and graphics. Let's get started. Hey guys, today we'll be taking a look at a couple popular image gallery plugins for WordPress. We'll be looking at Next Gen Gallery Plugin and the Grand FLA Gallery Plugin. Both are great plugins that offer different features that you may find useful depending on your specific needs. Okay, so the first plugin we'll be looking at is the Next Gen Gallery Plugin. The Next Gen Gallery Plugin is the more widely used plugin of the two and offers features such as custom templates, media RSS feed with cool iris effect, rolled privileges, watermarks, and sidebar widgets. Creating galleries with the Next Gen Gallery Plugin is really easy to use. After you install it, you'll have a new item in your left side panel called Gallery. Hover over it and click on Add Gallery. Go ahead and name your gallery. To add pictures to your gallery, make sure you select your gallery first and then browse for your pictures. And then click upload. After your pictures are done uploading, you can head on over to manage gallery and configure your gallery options. Here you can add a description for your gallery. You can choose a page to link your gallery to. You can choose a preview image. You can change the alt and title text of your images and you can even add tags to them. Under this drop down right here you can do uh, things to your images like set your watermarks, create new thumbnails, resize them, delete images, rotate them, copy them, move them to other albums, add, delete, and even overwrite their tags. If you click on album you can create albums with multiple galleries or albums using an easy drag and drop interface. If you go to Next Gen Gallery's plugin page, you can find short codes that you can use on your pages and posts to pull up only the pictures you've set with specific tags. On the options page, you can set your general options. You can change your options for thumbnails, images, your gallery. You can even change your effects. You can change your thumbnail effect to thick box, light box, high slide. I think I'm going to keep mine on shutter. You can adjust your watermark text or use a watermark image. And under slideshow, you can change your slideshow options. I'm going to go ahead and change my default slideshow size to 640 by 480 because I think the other size is a little small. And save changes. You can also edit the style sheet. Maybe you want to add a certain shadow to your thumbnails. And under roles, you can define the privileges of different features of the, uh, the plugin. Adding galleries or albums to your posts and pages is really easy. You just click this button and you'll have the option of adding a gallery, an album, or single pictures. I'm going to go ahead and select gallery and I could do it as an image list, a slideshow, or an image browser. I'm going to go ahead and, and add an image list and I'll make sure to pick my gallery and insert it, publish it, head on over to my blog and refresh and there you go there's my gallery. If I click on these pictures a lightbox effect will occur. If I click show a slideshow it'll actually turn into a slideshow and as you can see here I changed the default size of the slideshow image to 640 by 480. And the last thing I want to show you, a pretty cool feature I thought was the widgets. The widgets that come with NextGen. You can put your gallery into your sidebar or you can put in a media RSS feed. The next gallery plugin we'll be looking at is the Grand FLA Gallery plugin, which comes equipped with a music and video player, a banner rotator, full window gallery, player skins, and even Facebook integration. However, a drawback of this plugin is that it uses Flash, and so not all users would be able to take advantage of its features. After you install the plugin, you'll see a new menu here in your left side panel. If you click on Manage Galleries, you'll see that it's very similar to the Next Gen Gallery plugin. You can create galleries and add them to albums. Um, you can upload images and you can even upload images with a folder path, say if you already had your images on your FTP server. 
A great feature of this plugin is the music box and video box. The FLA Gallery plugin will actually let you embed video and music players into your pages and posts. I've already created a playlist here called Cool Beats and now I'm going to upload some music to add to those playlists. My music is stored on a folder on my FTP and I'm just going to enter in the URL and import the folder. Now I will select my playlist and add those songs to the playlist. Select the songs and update playlist. Now I'm just going to copy this short code, go over to my post, paste the code and update the post, head on over to my blog and refresh. Follow the same basic steps and you can incorporate a video player into your blog. Or a rotating banner. There are even custom skins that you can download and apply to your galleries. You can use a custom skin for your image gallery, your music, video, banner, and widgets. Another impressive feature is the ability to integrate all these different types of galleries and their custom skins into your Facebook. And the last great feature I want to show you is FLA Gallery's ability to create full window interactive image galleries. Alright, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at two popular WordPress image gallery plugins, and I hope it helps you in deciding which plugin is best for you. Thanks for watching. Visit the TotalBounty.com blog for more WordPress tips and tricks.